Well, in the backdrop of Brexit and the chaotic business environment that has ensued, uh, the UK government has been keen to, to use Farmer International Air Show as a, a platform to try and showcase a degree of stability. And the UK, of course, is still open for business. Um, just previously, uh, Dr. Liam Fox, the Secretary of State for International Trade, uh, he was on the UK Space Agency stand uh, giving a speech, uh, effectively saying the UK Space Agency and the civil uh, and commercial businesses are ready to do business, uh, both inward and outward investment. Um, just prior to that speech, we had a, a chat with Graham Stewart, uh, the Minister for Investment at uh, the DIT, who talked about the, the need, I guess, for the UK to keep attracting uh, FDI, foreign direct investment, into the country and the kind of partnerships that UK businesses can form uh, with overseas companies. Well, we're strong believers in open, liberal investment uh, environment, and we believe that if you look at aerospace, defence, cyber and space, then collaboration and the bringing together of uh, international companies is absolutely vital um, to strengthening what's already a solid foundation here in each one of those industries. Obviously with the decision to leave the European Union um, that has led some uncertainty until we um, uh, get the final relationship. Interestingly, if you look at last year, the UK remained the number one foreign direct investment destination in Europe. It's about getting the fundamentals right. That's what business looks at. Um, and that's why we're continuing to see significant investment uh, in these sectors and others, whether you look at uh, uh, VC investment, which is obviously very much targeted on high growth, or you look at tech investment, where we lead Europe by a very great uh, deal, then uh, all that contributes alongside our existing strengths with the world's leading financial centre and um, some of the top universities in the world to create a, uh, uh, a, an environment where investors are coming, notwithstanding the fact that there are some uncertainties. Get the fundamentals right and the investment will follow. As investment, Minister for Investment, I believe that strongly and I believe that uh, so much of a prosperous and stable future, not only for the UK but for the world, is going to be focusing on sectors like this and making sure that we have the environment that gets it right and helps people come together and develop and build really compelling uh, platforms and programmes for the future. Earlier in the week, uh, Simon Everest, the head of department at the DIT's DSO, he talked about the opportunities, conversely, that UK companies have in exporting platforms and technologies overseas and the kind of, again, the partnerships, which is becoming a theme, the partnerships that UK companies and foreign companies can pursue to achieve a common goal, which is uh, business success. Uh, I think uh, there have always been challenges uh, in the export market. Uh, it doesn't matter um, uh, which country you come from or what type of industry you're in, there are always challenges in the export market. Uh, certainly things are changing globally. You know, there is much more interest and much more, a much greater desire uh, for countries to want to see indigenous manufacture. Uh, and and uh, that needs to, you know, people need to get their heads around that in terms of what that means. Uh, there are areas of the world where uh, countries are looking to continue modernization of their forces. Uh, uh, the Gulf's a prime example of that. Asia, you see growing defense budgets uh, and, and people need to uh, respond to that. So I think there always have been challenges. It's a question just to understand what they are uh, and working your way through them. Uh, gone are the days where a company can just go and sell something uh, to another country or to another, to another uh, company overseas. It just doesn't work like that anymore. The sort of interconnected uh, global nature of the defence and security industry is now so great. Uh, many, many companies are international now by nature. Uh, you know, you have to work with other companies. You have to form partnerships. You have to vo form joint ventures. And I know that uh, UK companies are really, really up for that in terms of trying to deliver that and work through that as a, as a way forward to achieve export success. So business partnerships uh, is a theme that's clearly been uh, quite paramount here at Farnborough International Air Show. It's a topic we're going to explore more uh, throughout the rest of the week and into next week at uh, Shepherd Media. To follow all the show coverage, www.shepherdmedia.com.